I thought it was about time that I give a quick cat update. So to summarize, my cat is doing better. I'm still broke, <laughs> but or at least I'm going to be broke, but that's fine. The cat is doing a lot better. So a quick recap of what happened. Two weeks ago, my cat was run over by a car and we took him to the veterinarian. They did the surgery. He stayed at uh, veterinarians for about four days and uh, he's uh, had a couple of screws and some plates and stuff in his hind legs, but he is doing better. Uh, it's going to be a long recovery, still needs to re rehabilitate, probably going to be like eight weeks or something like that for recovery. But the problem was the bill. Now, the first estimate that we got was about $2,000. That was at the very first meeting. And that was, yeah, sure, sure, it was still an incredibly high amount, incredibly expensive, but we could afford that, like, without really any issues. But then they started calling and <laughs> calling again, and the bill just kept increasing. So at the final estimate today, they said that it was going to cost over nine thousand dollars. So that, <laughs> oh, that, uh, yeah, it took us by surprise. Uh, let's let's uh, just say that. But I made a video and I swallowed my pride and I asked for help. Now we have raised twelve hundred dollars to pay for the bill, and I am going to be eternally grateful for ev everyone that helped. It it is amazing. Now, I also want to thank everyone who just supported the video and uh, subscribed and liked and helped with the algorithm. It is going to help. Uh, but yeah, I have the bill in my hand right now. And let's just say that, you, you, yeah, we, I mean, we have four days to pay it. it um, we will probably manage somehow. Well, it's basically three full pages of stuff that he has been through. And the total amount down here is, is about... Eight thousand two hundred dollars, so that's better than nine thousand. Uh, now there's probably going to be some extra costs in the future, but we—I mean, we will see. I made a short, short explain then, uh, well, proclaiming that I spent ten thousand dollars on my cat, and that is probably what we were looking at. But right now we we're selling stuff. My wife even sold some software for Windows Vista. Uh, the, well, I mean, we were just basically selling uh, everything. Uh, but yeah, it is looking better. The cat is doing fine. He is sleeping, eating, using the toilet. Everything is going smoothly thus far. Uh, but oh boy, do he, want, uh, he wants to go outside. He really wants to go outside. Oh boy, he... When we... We let him walk around a little bit, stretch his legs so that he will get used to using them again. He can only use one leg right now, but it is getting better. Now I am going to show some pictures of the cat. Now just a fair warning, they're they're not gnarly, no, not even close, but the scar, the cat has some scars. So ju just a warning, the scars have healed nicely, it's just basically looks like a tiny little cut, but in case that's uh, something that you don't want to look at, here's the warning. Yeah, so the... the Cat is happy. We took off his uh, jumpsuit so that he, he could, uh, you know, clean, him, clean himself a little bit. Of course, we monitored him so that he wouldn't lick his wounds. And yeah, it seems like he is doing better. A lot better, in fact. Now, we're still giving him pain medication. Not the strongest ones, but he gets the pain medication once a day and it seems to be enough. Uh, but yeah, it has uh, been a real ordeal. Because the first night when we got him home, we had made a cat room for him. What was, uh, it was the previous nursery. So we had taken every furniture out of that room and just paste, um, placed down a mattress and toilet and food for, for the cat. And I slept in that room for the first night. Oh, that was that. Let's just say that I didn't get much sleep because he wanted to go outside. Well, he didn't want to stay in that room. That wasn't his room. He had been to that room before, but he knows that that's not where he's supposed to sleep. Uh, so that was an ordeal. Now, he is not supposed to walk around that much, so we bought a cage. A big dog cage. Very roomy. Um, and would fit his uh, food and his toilet and everything. Now, he does not enjoy being in a cage. We tried it for one night and, well, he ended up, up uh, sleeping in the cat litter. So <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, uh, he wasn't hurt or anything, but uh, it, it was not a good time for him. So what we did the next day, this is now day three, that we removed the bed frame from our bed. 
and we placed the mattress on the floor. So now he sleeps in the same bed as us. And he has been doing that for, uh, well, over a week now. So it is definitely going a lot better. We don't have a lot of room because we, well, we need to keep quite a bit, um, big space away from the cat. So he, he gets most of the bed and me and my wife is just snuggling up and uh, trying not to go near him while we're sleeping. Uh, it has been incredibly uplifting to see the support of so many people. Like strangers giving money to another stranger to help his cat. It, it just baffles me. Yeah, it really do, does. Now, I'm just gonna brag a little bit about myself. Like, I have spent a lot of money on stray cats. I've found stray cats who were hurt or abandoned. I've taken them to the veterinarian and I've paid for their upkeep and adoptions. Now, I couldn't adopt those cats myself since I've always had a cat. And the cats that I have don't really like other cats, so yeah, that, that would be a problem. Uh, hooray for the inflation! <laughs> oh, yeah, but, uh... Oh, the bill. That, 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 um, it took us by surprise. Like, and if you don't know, at the start of this year, I also lost my job. So we were already kind of tight when it came to money. Uh, but yeah, of, of course we were going to pay anything to save our cat. 100%. And now it's not only my cat, it is also your cat. <laughs> because you, uh, people who have donated uh, money and supported uh, the videos and given good vibes and comments and everything, it has been incredible. Yes. Now I must also add that I'm gonna show some videos, right? Uh, I'm gonna show some videos of the cat. So if you have a cat of your own, you might want to put in a put on a headset or maybe mute because there's going to be some meowing. Poor little thing. But yeah, we're still selling stuff. Now, worst case scenario, I could probably try to sell my car. Then again, my car is worth maybe $400, perhaps. It's a 2005 Renault. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it barely even works. It's, it's going to be tight for <laughs> quite some time, but uh, it, it, it is looking good, looking very good. Now we just need the cat to get better, and uh, it looks like he will. We are going to the veterinarian, I think it was tomorrow. Maybe it was tomorrow. It is probably tomorrow, yeah. To check his wounds. I mean, what from what I can see, it looks good. Uh, my cat woke up. Yeah, of course he did. Now he probably wants to go outside, because he has gotten his pain medication, he has uh, eaten, he has used the bathroom, he has... Uh, he has consumed water, but yeah, he's, he's even like he's not making any noise right now. Maybe because I'm talking. Who knows? Right, but I think that I've rambled on enough. Again, I want to say thank you, each and every one of you. <laughs> it is, uh, it is, has truly lifted my spirit to see all the support that I have gotten. Thank you. And as always, yes, <laughs> until next time.